today because we're talking about triathlon and the Ironman World Championship documentary that will be making its debut at La Paloma and on Outside TV December 30th. So joining me now to talk more on the Ironman World Championship, the documentary is Ironman Hall of Fame inductee, one of the, well, first participants in triathlon. Bob, is that fair to say? I was in the third ever Ironman back in 1980 when there was 108 of us over in Oahu. Wow. The year before, uh, in 78 and 79, 15 people started and 12 finished. And then because of an article in Sports Illustrated in 79 on San Diego bar owner Tom Warren, who won the event that year, uh, all of a sudden we had 108 of us in 1980. And it changed my life and certainly uh, it, from a sport that started in San Diego in 74, yeah. 20 years later, we were on the Olympic program. Uh, we were accepted in 94, and then we were in the Olympics in 2000. Wow. Yeah. And so, Bob, tell me a little bit about this documentary. First, yes. I said there's a number of athletes that are highlighted, and I don't understand why you're not one of the athletes <laughs> because, highlighted. Because I was eating burritos and watching. <laughs> because I, exactly. Now, it's uh, the Ironman, when it first was covered by ABC back in 1980, Right, that really helped to put the event on the map. And every single year, people look forward to either it was ABC, NBC, uh, to watch that show. And it won. It was up for 54 Emmys over the years, and won 16 of them. And it's just, it's great to watch the winners. But if we look at who's been showcased on it, Rudy Garcia Tolson, Sarah mm -hmm. Reinertsen, uh, David Bailey, Carlos Mulder, the human interest stories are the things that people watching at home, they might not be able to relate to the pituitary freaks who are going really, really fast, yeah. but they can relate to what a father would do for a son, Dick Coit with his son doing, doing the Ironman, or Sarah Reinertsen, the first single above the amputee woman to do the Ironman. People could relate to those folks. Uh, and, and then at the same time, they're show the world's best are showcased. Yeah, and so this documentary is showcasing a lot of those individuals. It's going back into the history of triathlon yes. and the Ironman, right? Yeah. And of From what started as something so small here yes. in San Diego and then has grown because it was triathlon and then yes. Ironman took it over, essentially, right? Ironman has been sort of the showcase, uh, showcase brand, no yeah. question about it. And the coolest thing is with all the women, over 2,000 women racing in Kona this year, right? And the, the really cool part was 93% finish rate, right? Wow. Every woman who went into the water, 2.4 mile swim, this has never been done before, everybody came out of the water. Usually people don't make the cutoff times. Yeah. Everybody was so prepared. And the one thing you heard from all the women who were participating is how nice everybody was. It was just the women were so supportive of each other and the high finish rate and people were very... Uh, the, the woman who won, Lucy Charles Barkley, said women were stopping during the, their own run to clap for her <laughs> and applaud her as she was going. It was, it was very, very special. So this documentary yes. will go through all of this and how can people see it and what do they need to know? Why well, should they watch it? Well, we're going to be at La Paloma because yeah. we're here in San Diego and uh, the doors will open at 1.30 at La Paloma. It's totally free. Uh, first come, first serve. And then the show will start right away at 1.45. It's a 90-minute show. And it's Steve Godwin, who's the producer of this show, I've worked with Steve for a long time, is a phenomenal filmmaker. And this is the first time the show has ever been premiered at the theater before it went on. Actually, it'll, that day it'll go on outside, outside uh, TV online. But this is the first year it's not on terrestrial TV. It's not on NBC. It's not on ABC. It's going to premiere at the La Paloma Theater, which is very, very cool. Wow, what a big deal. So it's this is deal. featuring, you know, highlighting Ironman, triathlon, yep. and featuring, a, uh, what do you call it, an athlete, a USA athlete, as well as several others. Well, and the champion from the year before, who I'm sure will get a lot of coverage in this, Chelsea Sidero, who is has been on KUSI before. Chelsea won last year and was the first American in a lot of years to win. Wow. First American woman to win in a lot of years. Uh, as the defending champion, she, I'm sure she gets a lot of showcase in there, and she came back from having her child to win the race and, and surprise a lot of people in 2022. Uh, the, the Lucy Charles Barkley, who wins this year, she had been second four times in a row. Wow. And then she finally won this year. And she's got, I think, half a million followers online. She, when she races, she 
does her braids. They call them battle braids. And yeah. So she's got an amazing following, and people were so excited to see her finally win after four second places. Wow. Okay, so this is going to really follow everybody and give yep. you a little insight into what what it takes to be an Ironman participant and champion. Yeah, and the deal is what we've learned over the, the theme is anything is possible. And Iron Man is, I call it an equal opportunity abuser. It doesn't yeah. care how big you are, how strong you are, if you're missing a limb, if you're in a wheelchair, if you're dealing with Down syndrome. Anything, if you want to get from point A to B and become an Iron Man, <laughs> anything is possible and you can do that. Okay, so for people who don't know, yes. <laughs> I did a sprint triathlon. Yes, you did. But an Iron Man, you said how long the swim is, but how long is that going to take it, somebody? Well, it's a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, 26.2 mile run, and the winners will go eight hours ish. <coughs> the men, and usually the usually the, the the men are the men are like now more like 7:30, 7:40, and the women wow. are like you know 8:30, right in that. So, but the t the cutoff time is 17 hours. Wow. Yeah, so it's a long day. What, uh, before we go, yes. I, a triathlon has given you so much. And when you think of the history of it here in San Diego, yeah. what is it for you that you love so much about triathlon and Ironman? What I love about triathlon is it, I, I can go out uh, and race. I raced out in Hemet last weekend, a little pool triathlon. And the cool thing is, you're out there with your buddies. I'm in now. I'm in the 70 to death category, and just hanging out with my friends early in the morning. And you, you all, we always say to each other before we do our, our photo, it's like, why do we do this? Why are we up at four in the morning with this? Because we can. Yeah. You know, you, you're with the. With you, it, it's it is the fountain of youth. You can do it forever. There's really no reason. As a runner, as you get older, sure. you get slower. Well, as a triathlete, I can buy faster wheels. I can get a better wetsuit. I can get a faster bike. I can do this sport forever. And hopefully, when I'm 90, I'll be faster than I was at 70. All right. So you're inviting everybody to come. It's free yes. at La Paloma on Saturday, December 30th, 145. So come a little bit earlier. Absolutely. Come earlier because you want to get in line to get tickets uh, to get in. But again, no cost. And we'd love to have everybody there. Love to have you there because you're our seasoned triathlete now. <laughs> Because I did one once many exactly. years ago. Okay, all right. Well, Bob, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for bringing the trophy that looks like it's about the same weight as something very, very heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, awesome. Great.